Morton is a no-nonsense Yorkshireman who can remove opponents very quickly. Seymour Johnson, the black boxer, was born in Brixton. Now boxes for the Gloucester Club. And Henry Wharton from the Bass St. Patrick's Club in Leeds, successful England international, appearing in his first ABA final, and will certainly start favourite here against the Southport Johnson. Middleweights, 11 stone 11. Wharton's a very interesting man. He disposed of his ABA semi-final opponent at Blackburn in 66 seconds. Jim Farrell of Wales was the unfortunate victim and he took three eight counts in 66 seconds. On his best nights, Wharton can look sensational. But he's got a very awkward man here. Tall, long reach, southpaw, Seymour Johnson. And he was the man who put out last year's champion, the Navy man, Mark Edwards, during the Western Counties versus the Combined Services zone finals. But by all accounts, it wasn't a very good decision. So I'm told. Stop, stop. You mustn't turn around. Dave McCann ticks off Seymour Johnson for that. You mustn't turn your back on your opponent. Seymour Johnson sporting what? My mother used to call a pudding basin haircut. Henry Wharton really going for Johnson and you can't help feeling that if he does connect we won't see more of Seymour taken a liberty there he hit Johnson after the bell and there was absolutely no reason for that and that was unforgivable on Wharton's part there was bad feeling at the end of the round for some reason which I don't know about and then Wharton threw quite a vicious looking punch at Johnson well after the bell and that was unforgivable but the referee has done nothing about it here it is again we won't hear the bell on here That's the stoppage, there's the bell. Oh. He made the most of it, Johnson, to be fair. <laughs> but to nonetheless, no way. Wharton should have done that. Henry Wharton, silly boy. That was uh, not the thing to do, and he mustn't go about doing those sort of things, because that will get him into trouble eventually. And he doesn't need to do it. <laughs> Round two, now then. We know there's bad feeling between these two, and Dave McCann, the referee, is going to have a word with Wharton now, and he's giving him a public warning. He let him have his minutes rest. He hasn't given him a public warning, he's thrown him out. He has thrown him out. He's disqualified him. He waited until the interval was over. Somebody's thrown a programme in over my head. We might get a bit more of that. Rolled up newspapers are coming in. The coins will start at any moment. Seymour Johnson is celebrating victory and Henry Wharton has paid the price of doing something stupid. He threw a punch at his opponent well after the bell 
the referee waited during the interval the moment the bell rang and they came out he announced his decision he had disqualified Henry Wharton which is one of the uh, well the big shocks of recent ABA championships we think there's some fighting going on somewhere in the audience there's certainly a lot of demonstrating and those must be the Henry either they're the Henry Wharton supporters or they're the supporters of Johnson demonstrating against the referee against Wharton rather well those are clearly supporters of Henry Wharton from Yorkshire so sadly bad feeling in the ring brings about bad feeling outside the ring how often have we seen that in sport and uh, well it's regrettable one more look now at what happened to cause all this Wharton was going after his man when the bell sounded that's the point at which the bell came and then afterwards it wasn't uh, the worst thing you've ever seen but it was stupid and the referee decided it was bad enough to disqualify Wharton so Seymour Johnson having very controversially put out last year's champion Mark Edwards has now won the ABA championship on a disqualification and that is a very very rare thing indeed and Wharton I think is refusing to oh no he's not he's having his glove taken off I thought he was refusing to come to the middle nope he trudges over and now a shake of hands Johnson looks at him very warily <laughs> Johnson's shaking him by the hand but doesn't look too pleased about the whole thing why should he but he is the champion That's all you can do to hear the announcement, but Wharton has been disqualified, of course, and Seymour Johnson from Gloucester is the winner. An unfortunate ending, not the way to win a title, and uh, it's brought bad feeling among the audience, too.